I have been hiding in Phoebe's room to edit my vlog because uh, Lily and her boyfriend are downstairs in the living room watching a film. Phoebe's in the kitchen bellowing at her friends on a voice uh, on a speaker call because her earphones are broken. They were just my old ones. They were uh, wireless Primark over the headphones, but they broke this morning. So we are going to pop out shortly to grab some lunch and get some new earphones. So you can come along with us for that. Good morning, by the way. It's Tuesday and it is the 25th, 25th, Dan? He's just, yes. he's just in the background uh, working. He's in our bedroom working. 25th of October today. It's a very sunny day. I think it might rain later. And yeah, I'm going to get dressed because I'm still in my pyjamas. I went back to bed this morning. So I got up at my usual time, about quarter to seven, went downstairs, had a cup of tea and some breakfast, edited my vlog, suddenly thought, I feel really tired. I might just go and put my head down for five minutes and woke up three hours later at half past ten. The last time I slept in till half past ten, I, I can't even tell you. It's probably in my twenties. So I obviously needed it and I do feel quite a bit better for it. So that's quite good. But it has sort of thrown me slightly. I feel a little bit discombobulated now. The house is a mess. Not much I can do about that today with editing and half term. So we're just going to leave it, Phoebe and I, go out and ignore it and leave everyone doing what they're doing here. Right, I better get dressed. Where are we, Phoebe? We're at Blue Water, which is a huge shopping centre. And we come here a lot, don't we? Because this is our nearest huge shopping centre. And we are here on a mission to get lunch and to get earphones. And also buy other stuff. <laughs> we're on a shopping spree. We're not on a shopping spree. Shopping spree a... with mummy's money. Mm, I don't have any. Oh my god, these are all your bags and my bag. Just do a little. Got this bag, isn't it nice? I'll show you some other things I've got in here. Baby I got treated these herself to a bag. Wireless earpods. And we went to get new over the head earpods, wireless ones, and ended up. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, earphones. So we went to get new wireless over the head earphones but instead you opted for Primark own wireless earbuds. If they work as well as mum's £75 ones, these are only £15, mum's going to be like, oh. I love my uh, Apple earbuds. And I also love got them. some new Carmex because I ran out. The you music. use that a lot don't you? I used it all. We also got our poppies. Now we didn't get one for um, Dan or Lydia because they'll buy their own. Dan likes to buy his own because he works for the Royal British Legion. And he likes to tell the people who sell the poppies. <laughs> He's like, oh yes, 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 I work for them. Yes, I work for them too. So Phoebe got a one for her collection. She collects these, so she got the 2022 one. So you can put that in your bag. Thank you. And I got a slightly different one this year. I got the this one which says, lest we forget, which I thought was quite nice. I love so I'll be putting that on my coat. So this is Phoebe's outfit. Slay or nay, yas or pass. <laughs> you want to know, slay, nay, yas or pass. <laughs> I think it's a slay and a yas. So this yas. is all for New Look Girl. And Not that's sponsored. your skins underneath. Yeah. These are her football skins she's wearing underneath. So. What does it say? Sondaco. Yeah. It's nice, Phoebe. I love it. This outfit is so swag. You could never. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we needed to get new earphones. <laughs> and this is what I bought. 
So this was a Primark till bargain because it says £10 for two, but it rang up as £5. So that was a bargain. So I've got two of these little baskets. I just really liked the texture of them. And these are going to be part of my continuing improvement to the shelves I showed in the living room. But I can't get in there at the moment because Lydia's in there watching endless Harry Potter films with her boyfriend, Jake. What have I got for you? You can have some hey hey. I've just finished making these, which you would have just seen. So these are date and oat slice. This is, these are, this is a date and oat slice, or these are date and oat slices. Hmm. <laughs> I got the recipe online and I'll put the link to it underneath. I needed to use up some date, uh, which I was speaking about um, earlier in Vlogtober. Uh, and this was perfect. I made half the recipe because I had half the weight of dates and it has come out so well. It's like having a little mini individual crumble. And it's perfect because today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays it's Bake Off. So we'll be able to have these uh, this evening whilst watching Bake Off, a cup of tea, or in my case a hot milk, and a little mini crumble. So that's really good. I'm not going to put the lid on yet because they're still cool. Um, and it's now five o'clock so I'm going to make my lunch for tomorrow because I'm in the office tomorrow so I'm going to make sure I've got my lunch ready to go in the morning and then I'm going to start cooking dinner and um, we were due to have well we are having or everybody else is having 
uh, sausages in buns with beans and chips. Hot dogs, mum. Hot dogs, yeah. Um, but nice hot dogs, not, not hot dogs from a jar, nice sausages. Uh, but I really, really, really don't fancy it. It just feels a bit too heavy, so I'm just going to have some pasta with the pesto that I made the other day. You're, why are you hovering? Oh, Dan went back to work today. I did. I'm really tired. You are tired. I think we're both tired. I went back to bed this morning. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be doing 10 till 4 for the next couple of weeks, but I've been it's off for o'clock. nearly three weeks. So I, I logged on at half eight this morning and I about 10 minutes ago came off and, you know, I am tired. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. What kind of tea would you like? I, uh, I, I I don't know. Normal tea. Normal tea. I can't think of it. boss tea. Normal tea, please. Salted caramel oolong tea. Normal tea, please. But it was nice that to be back at work. Oh goodness sake! I said normal tea. <laughs> it was nice to be back at work. Um, but and there's a lot going on. I won't bore you with that. I uh, feel I'm like tired now. I feel like I'm getting. A, well, I can feel a little tingle here. Do you know when I get that funny sore under my nose? Yeah. I feel like I'm about to get that. Can't see anything. Are there any happy birthdays today? Well, there might be that I've missed, but I haven't got any in my room. Well, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary. Mm. If not, I hope you've had a nice day. Dan is still on steroids. (laughs) (laughs) Come in. My little bee has just come on. I love my little bee. I've also got two flickering flame lights, but they haven't come on yet. If I do this, I might be able to get it to come on. Apparently not. <laughs> Look at this, it's amazing. It's really come into its own this month. I need to tie it back a bit. It is a climbing one. Mm. Uh, Jinko Biblico trees are starting to turn bright golden yellow. the third time I've tried to film this bit I don't know what's wrong with me I'm all discombobulated I think it was that going back to bed this morning and I'm sorry about the light I've had to improvise with the lighting situation because if I had the overhead light the focus goes weird if I sit with the lamps behind me it's too dark to look at me if I sit with the lamps in front of me I have to be really close to the camera so I've improvised with one of the girls old lamps which has got a kind of diffusey bit on the front but it does make me look like I'm a rabbit caught in headlights. <laughs> I was just sitting here looking through my almanac. I like to check this every couple of nights. Uh, I like to look at how the daylight hours change throughout the month and throughout the year. 
and there's quite a lot of change in the month of October and it does a really good visual um, representation of it. So this is the Almanac by Leah Lean Dirt. I've got this for the last four years and I really, really like it. I can't imagine not having it to refer to and it does a really good sort of pictorial representation of daylight. So the, the grey areas you see are um, dusk and dawn and then the dark areas are night hours and then the unfilled squares are daylight hours so you can see how it really starts to pinch in towards the bottom of the month here and there's a little step where the clocks go back on sunday and then it's halloween and the last day of the month on monday and the last day of october i can't believe it already and then we're into november goodness me it just feels like five minutes ago we're in the middle of august and uh, there's also uh, moon phase page here and I noticed when I opened it up that today is actually a new moon the 25th and it's in Scorpio and it says here that astrologers believe that the new moon is a good time to make plans and focus on your dreams and hopes for the period ahead and each new moon has a particular energy depending on which zodiac sign it's in. Uh, Scorpio is intense and sensual so this would be a good time to begin working on personal empowerment and the fulfillment of your deepest desires sounds very positive doesn't it so that is my almanac so i thought i'd just say goodbye in my weird lighting way it's been a really lovely couple of days actually it's been busy there's been a lot going on behind the scenes and and things to get done and i do feel very disorganized at the moment which is just comes with the territory of it being half term but it's just been it's just felt really nice and calm and We've been doing things together and Phoebe and I had such a lovely time together today, just like getting lunch and walking about and giggling together. And it was really, really lovely to spend time with her in that way. I'm at work tomorrow and then on Thursday, I'll uh, again, I'll be with Phoebe, but um, with one of her friends as well, who we're looking after for the day. Uh, so we'll see see what the next couple of days bring us and then it'll be Friday. But tonight I'm looking forward to going to put my feet up in my pyjamas. I am pyjama up from the waist down, by the way, because no sitting on the bed in outdoor clothes. No way. I've got my pyjama bottoms on and uh, Dan and I are going to watch Bake Off after the girls go to bed later. The girls don't really like Bake Off. We get a bit bored with it, but we love it. So we'll probably watch Death in Paradise with them. Dan's. Did I already say that Dan's going to run Phoebe's, uh, Lilia's boyfriend home shortly. I can't remember because I've filmed this about three times already. So I'm going to shut up before I mess it up again. <laughs> Only to say that I'll be watching Bake Off and then I'll be coming to bed nice and early to continue with my book, which is The Memory Police. I think it's called The Memory Police, yeah, by Yoko Ogawa. I am really enjoying this. I'm about halfway through it now and it's a really unusual story and really keeps you turning the pages and really looking forward to seeing where this where the story goes i can't quite work out where it's going to go so really really good and the fact that it it's translated from the original japanese that it's written in kind of gives the the feel of the story it, it just makes the feel of the story the, the the nature of the writing is just really really enjoyable it's just a very it's a very nice way to read the story i think it's translated really well is what I'm trying to say. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, stop babbling. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>